So for men out there listening to you, Demi, I want them to know that you a man could say, oh, I'm, I'm a pro-feminism. I'm, I'm a feminist. I, you know, I respect women. But have that same energy when your male homies come and talk to you about what they've done and or what took place within a woman, right? You need to check their ass just like you respect that woman because you really don't respect that woman if you're not checking your male friends. And so with that being said, Reality Steve, you're not my friend and I'm gonna check your ass right now. You're gonna talk, you're not gonna talk down to my friend, Demi, Christina, Jay, all my ladies in the game. Channel I'm not gonna have that. I won't have that. And I remember listening to our sister podcast, Clickbait, and Natasha was asking, Joe, has Reality Steve spoken to any men and from my season i don't know about you brian he hasn't and then i was listening yeah. uh or not listening but i i uh read his uh bs statement and i think he he kind of alludes to it he says that people ate it up unfortunately back then that's what we were doing degrading women to keep numbers up on the website so i think that he specifically chose to come at women and i won't have that it's it's because we are in some people's eyes, women are like easy prey because we are just nurturing and nicer and, you know, uh, also smaller. Like it, you know, it's a fact that women are most of the time smaller than men. So like, uh, I, th I can't do anything if someone tries to come at me or like someone, you know, would try to do something to me. Like I am physically incapable. A man is going to put up a fight and going to be able to like hold his own. And so you, I feel like a lot of men use women to do these things because they know that they can't really do anything about it. And again, society has trained our brains to like uh, diffuse the situation instead of uh, make it worse and put it like a spotlight on it. We want it to just go away because right. it makes us uncomfortable because we always feel like we're in the wrong because of the conditioning that we've had throughout you know, history in America. And that's exactly what it is, conditioning. I remember when I uh, used to do Krav Maga, they would purposely put men. I'm like, how tall are you, Demi? Like five one, five, five two? two, five two. Five I'm two. six foot four, six five on a good day, right? They will put <laughs> men like myself up against women like you, and just being the type of man I am, I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna fight this woman. And they're like, no, you're going to fight her because you need to break this stigma that we have in this country and the the societal conditioning that we have because Demi, you can beat my ass. Like if you are trained and know what you're doing, even though I probably weigh 150 pounds more than you, over a foot taller than you, women can defend themselves. And so I don't I, I don't want women out there to think that since they are smaller that they can't. Women can. Yeah, but it's like, why do I have to? You, you should know? have like, to. That's the I issue. Have to? I agree with you. You should not have to whatsoever. And this is why I want men to know you can't be pro feminism if you're not defending women behind their back. Right? Call your homies out. Call your male friends out. 